Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What is going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video. And today I am back on Madden NFL 19. A lot of people keep asking me the same question regarding my draft class and regarding Kyler Murray. Current Oklahoma quarterback... Ignore the fact that it says experience four years. We're going to treat him as a rookie because he is a rookie. I've recreated Kyler Murray in the NFL. Everyone keeps asking me, Bengal, is Kyler Murray going to go to the NFL? What would your draft projection be for him? Where do you think he's going to go? Who's going to draft Kyler Murray? And I always tell them, Kyler Murray has pretty much already made his decision. His agent has come out and said, Kyler Murray is going to play baseball. If you weren't aware, if you don't follow... Uh, the MLB draft or anything. Kyler Murray was actually a super high pick in this last year's MLB draft out of college, out of Oklahoma. He plays baseball as well. I believe he was picked number eight overall by the Oakland Athletics. So he's currently in their organization. He's a ter uh, current top prospect in their organization. I believe, and I will double check this right after I say it, I think he's the number four player in their top 30 MLB prospect pipeline right now for the A's. So He's a big deal as far as MLB prospects goes. He was actually picked number nine overall in this past draft in the first round, and he is their number four prospect uh, in their organization. So he's no joke as a baseball player if you care about his actual uh, scouting grades. 50 for hit, 50 power, run is 70. Obviously, we watch him at Oklahoma. We know he's got really, really good legs. Uh, arm is a 40, which is pretty low, actually. Uh, we know he has a good football arm, decent, but it is a little bit of a different throwing motion with a baseball, or it is a different throwing motion, despite um, still, you know, like coming up over the top. It's kind of a different release, depending on uh, your arm slot. But that's a different conversation for a different time. Uh, so he's a really, really solid baseball player, and the reason I have decided to go with him on the Oakland Raiders is because the Raiders believe it or not, are still in search of their future franchise quarterback. It is not Derek Carr, I'm telling you. Maybe it would be Kyler Murray. He got drafted to Oakland with the Athletics. Maybe in this dreamland scenario, he goes to play for the Raiders. They take you know a, a mid to late round flyer on him uh, and have him play quarterback. I've decided to make him a 77 overall. We're going to up his development to star just for the sake of the video. And a lot of people ask me, why don't you think he'd be a good NFL quarterback? Well, one, he is 5'10". And now a lot of people would say, well, look at Russell Wilson, who's 5'11". Look at Drew Brees, who's 6'0". Look at Baker, who's 6'0". Uh, I think Baker's 6 feet flat. Well, it's a little bit different at 5'10". And I know it seems like just inches, but it does make a difference when you're playing against those NFL off or on those NFL offensive lines. They're so big, so tall defensive lines as well tough to see over and your next answer might be well played at Oklahoma with some of those guys that is true but it does change at the next level when everybody's faster everyone's bigger I do understand what you're saying a lot of his throws are made because of his mobility and his ability to escape the pocket and extend plays not everything's done in the pocket I think that would change uh, in an NFL offense and another huge issue that people are sweeping under the rug he's 195 pounds which I would love to be 195. I think it's a, a good walking around weight, but in the NFL, you're going to be taking a lot of hits. And that is that is a, a low amount of weight for durability purposes. He is going to be an injury-prone uh, player in the NFL, walking around at 195 as a quarterback, taking hits from 300-pound defensive linemen, maybe regularly, depending on what offense he's in. It's not good for longevity and durability. So I think that would be another huge hit towards his progression in the NFL. But yeah, let's go ahead and change his development. We're giving him star. And I've given him all of his equipment to make him look like Kyler Murray actually does in real life uh, as much as I can with Madden. And we're going to see. We'll hop in some games maybe, see how he plays. But we're going to try and win a Super Bowl uh, with Kyler Murray as QB1 for the Oakland slash uh, LA or L the uh, LV Raiders, excuse me, in Las Vegas. So we're upgrading him a little bit already. That star development is going to help. And Kyler Murray, your turn to take over 
this putrid Oakland Raiders team. We'll see what you can do. If there's enough support on this video, maybe I'll even start a career mode with Kyler Murray uh, on Madden and also transition it with MLB The Show 18 or 19. Kind of do like a hybrid career mode where he's a two-sport athlete. I think that could be really cool as we're not going to see Kyler Murray in the NFL more than likely and we're not going to see him in the MLB for some time. It takes a long time for a lot of these prospects to come up. Um, and he might even win the Heisman really, really soon. So I think this is perfect time for this video. Uh, let's go ahead and simulate to the midseason mark. Check out these stats. I don't know how they're going to be. Probably not that great. Not a lot of weapons here in Oakland. We're going to have to build a team around him. I think I'll probably just do that and, and show you a few of the moves. We're 3-4. and four, And uh, Kyler Murray does have a skill point, which is cool. Do we want him to fit the system? I just want to make him better. These are the attributes I decided to give him, by the way. Decent throwing numbers. I think he has a decent arm. Nothing really crazy. And then his running numbers are awesome. 91 speed, 94 acceleration, 88 agility. Decent carrying, good elusiveness, real low strength, trucking, stiff arm, but good juke spin. Injury is pretty good. Uh, higher than it should be, maybe. Those are AJ McCarron's numbers at injury, and stamina, toughness. And I just didn't change that. But we do have a skill point. We're going to upgrade that. Uh, and I guess we'll go into West Coast here. He goes up to a 78 overall. What's upgrade here? Play action, throw accuracy, mid, throw on the run, and throw under pressure. He's looking good. He's looking good. Maybe he is the future quarterback of this Raiders team. Didn't make the playoffs. Finished 7-9. We will definitely hop in and play with Kyler Murray at some point during this. The 91 speed is too much for me to pass on. He actually had a pretty good season. Pretty good year. About 4,000 yards passing. 25 touchdowns to 8 interceptions. Decent ratio. Uh, we don't really care about anything else besides receiving. Seth Roberts, Jared Cook, Jordy Nelson were his favorite targets. All with 71 receptions apiece. Spread together uh, a decent number of touchdowns. 14 to be exact between those three players. So he did all right. And he's not a rookie. I should have done this a little bit differently. Uh, but is he in for Offensive Player of the Year? No, and he won't be in the conversation for rookie obviously because he's not a rookie this is not that rookie class but we will upgrade him even more go west coast here what i probably should have done was uh started from the off season that would have been way smarter i don't know why i didn't do that but we're gonna go to the off season now and maybe pair him up with one of his teammates we'll see if we can draft hollywood brown maybe bring in aj brown we need to get a lot of targets for kyler murray seth roberts marty b Brandon LaFell, Marcel Aitman, Dwayne Harris, they're not going to cut it. I like Marcel Aitman a lot in real life. He's a nice overall at 69 right now, but it's just not good enough. We need to get better pieces around him. Nobody's here in free agency. We need to build a better team around him. So I am just going to sign some, some random guys like Trevor Williams. Try to up the defense so we can up the offense. It's going to work hand in hand. Got Trevor Williams and Tevin Coleman. Hopefully boost the offense. Again, give Kyler Murray some more weapons. It's what I'm all about. I will also import my draft class, which you can download, Bengal 2019 Draft, on PlayStation 4, if you haven't already. I assume a lot of you have already. It has, I think, a lot of downloads at this point. Are right, we pick number 12 overall? We'll see who's available. DeAndre Baker goes to the Falcons, staying in Georgia. That's fun. Super annoying because of the way I did that. We don't actually have three first-round picks. I'm going to start with A.J. Brown. 80 overall star development. Going to be a really good weapon for our guy, Kyler Murray. And I'm going to come back. I'm going to trade back up. Probably Derek Carr in order to get this pick from, um, I guess, the, the Cowboys might be in the market for a quarterback. Just don't take Hollywood Brown. All right, Derek Carr, a fifth this year and a third next year for the number 15 overall pick from the Dallas Cowboys. And let's welcome to the team, former Oklahoma Sooner, to pair with Kyler Murray, Marquise Hollywood Brown. 77 overall superstar development. Of course, the timeline doesn't exactly match with Kyler Murray somehow coming out before Marquise Brown. Don't worry about it. Markel Lee and PJ Hall. PJ Hall? Why do I feel like it's not PJ? That felt weird to say PJ Hall. It might be. I think it is. Why did it feel weird? Yeah, it is PJ Hall. I don't know. We uh, <laughs> we traded them for the Cardinals first round pick. Now we have three first round picks the way we should have. And we're going to take, you guessed it, Oklahoma Sooner, Cody Ford. 
one of the top offensive linemen in this class, 80 overall, star development. Welcome to the Raiders. He actually plays a lot of uh, right guard, or excuse me, right tackle at Oklahoma, but I think he profiles best as a guard in the NFL. Irv Smith likely is going back to Alabama. So I think we're going to take Noah Fant here. Our new starting tight end, 79 overall, star development available in the mid-second round for us. Great value. I will take that. Another target for Kyler Murray. We should, like, trade for Mark Andrews or something. I know Mark Andrews is a Baker boy, but uh, it'd be fun for the Oklahoma part. And we'll take Jalen Jelks. Decent player. Nothing special. 73 overall. And um, I think that's going to do it for the draft. All right, we did really well in the draft. Have bona fide stud targets now for Kyler Murray. Or at least they should develop into that if they're not already. I need, I should probably just release Seth Roberts, honestly. That should be what happens. The defense is terrible. I really can't even say that enough. It's a really, really bad team. Cody Ford is going to play right tackle, though. Still have Colton Miller at left tackle, who is just not the guy. But uh, on the bright side, he has played the position before, so he's going to fit well. Gabe Jackson stays at right guard. Kalichi Assembly at left. Rodney Hudson at center. It's a decent offensive line. Noah Fant at tight end. And then I say it always changes what I want. Like, it's very frustrating. We're going to be fine on the offensive line for the time being. It's still not an excellent spot. But we're in an we're in all right position. We need to get better on defense for Kyler Murray. But this offense should continue uh, to develop and play well. Now that we have some really good pieces in place, this is the squad for the second season with Kyler. I really want to hop in with like, and make a nice playoff run with him. But we're gonna need the team to develop a lot more before that happens. I probably won't show too much. It's just gonna be like upgrading and and how we did on the season. So we didn't make the playoffs. I don't think that should come as a real shock to anybody. We did finish 5-11, and 11, so slightly worse from last year. Although Kyler Murray performed uh, roughly the same besides the interception numbers, which has gone up a little bit. As far as receiving goes, A.J. Brown had a really good rookie year. Noah Fant as well. But Marquise Hollywood Brown from the slot did damage. Eight touchdowns. 23rd offense in the NFL. We're going to get better. Defense was terrible. I think that's what really held us back. So Kyler Murray is up to an 81 overall right now. They keep taking away his star development, and that's just not going to happen. He's a star. You're, you're not going to keep giving him quick just because. I won't allow it. Star development. You can't just keep taking it away because you feel like a game. Madden 19, broken. But we do have two upgrade points. I want him to fit the scheme. That's why I accidentally clicked early. And accidentally did strong arm, although that does help out. And we're getting closer and closer to fitting the mold of a West Coast quarterback, fitting the offense. Throw power even goes up a little bit there. 92 throw power, 82 deep, 89 medium, 88 short. Still an excellent athlete, so you gotta love that. But they keep stealing star development. Look at that playoff week. Just ah, you don't have you don't have it anymore. Come on, Kyler Murray is an impending free agent. We're going to give him a massive deal. Seven years, $124 million. Welcome back to the Oakland Raiders, Kyler Murray. Right, we're just going to have a field day in free agency. Maybe stay away from Kareem Hunt. <laughs> There's not a lot of talent here in free agency. Like I don't like a lot of the players. Ashawn Robinson's nice, though. Ashawn Robinson rejects. We got Miles Jack and Brandon McManus, though. Get the special teams a little bit better. I know we had the Florida duo with uh, Johnny Townsend and Eddie Pinheiro, but I'd rather just not have that. Miles Jack helps out a middle linebacker. Still need to get better across the entire defense, but this is the Kyler Murray show, so I probably will continue to draft offense. NFL draft time. Trying to put some good pieces around Kyler. Again, we pick at number five overall. Uh, might be a defensive pick this time around. This is the 2020 class I loaded from somewhere. And uh, we don't need help at running back, really, at tackle. It's got to be a defensive pick and then follow up with maybe C.D. Lamb at wide receiver. I scouted him a bit. That's got to be the move. We're going to take Dylan Moses out of Alabama. 83 overall star development. Really solid player. So um, that is going to be a good defensive pick for us. 
help out the defense, and then I absolutely am taking CD Lamb in the second round. And I'll see what we can do in the third and then probably simulate. I know a lot of you guys watching the video. Oh, we don't even have a third round pick. I'll probably just simulate then. Give me CD Lamb. Just taking it for the Oklahoma memes. Also, I know he's good in this class. So, 77 overall star development. Pretty good stuff. And the Oklahoma connection with Kyler is real. Now we have a good set of three receivers. AJ Brown, Marquise Hollywood Brown, and CD Lamb. With Noah Fant at tight end, a good offensive line, decent running back in Tevin Coleman. The offense, complete. We got Daniel Jones. We have our quarterback. Also got Trayvon Diggs. He should be a way higher overall. Also, I think he's coming out this year in real life. So, I don't know. That class is weird per usual. But we've got a good group, good offensive line. And we got some regression going on. I hate that. Defense is coming along somewhat nicely. It's going to get better. It's going to be like another season, probably, or two, before we're there. One and six at the midseason mark. Not going that well, but Kyler Murray does have some more XP, so we are going to develop him. Still trying to have him fit that West Coast scheme. He jumps up to an 84, and then hopefully after this one to an 85. Can't seem to get that scheme going, but he is getting a lot better. Is improving quite a bit, and throw power goes up two on those two so throw powers up to 94 he's gonna be a glitch in game which we'll get to did make the playoffs obviously finished five and ten we're not quite there we need we need we need better pieces the offense i'm content with where they are where is uh kyler murray here only one experience point we're going west coast again i don't think he's ever gonna fit the scheme it's just not gonna happen but he is getting a lot better, as I continue to say. Short accuracy is up to 90. We'll go ahead and have the CPU take care of the rest. Let's see how the boys performed. 17th offense, Kyler Murray seems pretty consistent with his numbers. About 4,000 yards, about 25 touchdowns or so, 10-ish interceptions. And then he's getting probably the same guys involved. He has no offense, great season. A.J. Brown over 1,000 yards. Hollywood Brown led in catches. Five touchdowns for the rookie, C.D. Lamb. No one's going to win any awards right now, so I'm not really going to focus on that too much. In case you cared, the Browns beat the Rams 40 to nothing in the 2020 Super Bowl. Have mercy, Cleveland. Relax. All right, Calicio Assembly's trash now. We need a better left guard or tackle. We can slide Cody Ford back inside. That don't matter. We'll see who's in free agency. I just want to like sign everybody good. Hopefully, we have so much money. Almost 100 mil in cap space. All right, I really went all out in free agency. We got Hassan Reddick, Taco Charlton, Taylor Moten, Derek Burnett, Andre Hell, Artie Burns, um, Trent Williams, and Christian McCaffrey. This was a really good free agency for us. And uh, I'm going to slide Cody Ford over to play left guard now. I'm just all about making this team ridiculously overpowered in any unrealistic manner. I'm cool with it. I just need the team to be good enough for simulation so we can ball out with Kyler Murray in the playoffs. That's my goal. It's actually looking a lot better. Andre Howe is going to go over and play free safety because I think he fits a lot better uh, systematically in that. We're picking number six overall. This is not a loaded draft class, so we're just going to have to get lucky here. An 82 overall quarterback goes to the Jets. I guess the Sam Darnold experiment is over. And what do I even need? A defensive tackle would help. Probably just defensive tackle, honestly. They all kind of look bad right now. Rashard Morgan looks like a ridiculously good offensive line prospect. So we're going to draft him just because 81 overall quick. That's good. Uh, at Well, Cody can stay inside. We can slide somebody inside to play right guard. Might be Rashard Morgan. We'll have to see because... Gabe Jackson's not getting it done at right guard. And hopefully one of these defensive tackles is still available. Because it looked like there was a decent one in the second round. I kind of waited on it. I hope he's still available. And he is not. I'll take this one though. Othniel McIntosh, 75 overall. Good enough to start right now, which is kind of sad. But that's the end of the draft. We're going to slide Taylor Moten in to play right guard. I know it's a lot of moving everybody around. But I just want the most overpowered team so we can actually win in simulation for my guy Kyler Murray here I'm not I'm certainly not an Oklahoma fan but 
for the sake of this video, he's my guy. I'm a Texas Longhorn fan, so he's pissed me off actually quite a bit over the course of his college career, which to be fair, hasn't been a super long one based on being behind Baker Mayfield. But this season, at least, he's been super frustrating. I know Texas won uh, in their first meeting in the Red River Showdown. But then in the Red River rematch in the Big 12 Championship, Oklahoma, if, if you guys follow college football, obviously got the better of Texas. It's a sad day. Four and three at the midseason mark. Currently competing for the AFC West. Another skill point upgrade for Kyler Murray. Let's go West Coast again. He goes up to an 86 overall. Did they quit take his development down a notch again? God dang, why do they keep doing that? He's playing well enough. He's a star. All right, we made the playoffs. Let's go. Nine and seven. It'll have to do it. Two won the MVP. We'll check out the stats. See how everything came to be. Kyler Murray had his, his worst season so far, honestly. I think I told you guys we signed Christian McCaffrey. Uh, wide receivers, nothing was that impressive, but C.D. Lamb and Hollywood Brown led like major categories for wideouts. A.J. Brown just had one more catch, which is why he's listed higher. But it's the Oklahoma boys, really, and then Noah Fant at tight end. Is Kyler Murray going to be in any conversation for Offensive Player of the Year? Two who wins MVP. No Raiders, AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Show me a Raider. Show me Kyler Murray. No. Pop in against the Pats, though. Actually... I know we're pretty good overall. We should have won more games, probably. Let's upgrade the team first. Kyler Murray should have some points. A lot of points for some of these other players. Only one. He is an 86 overall. Let's go West Coast, of course. Still doesn't fit the scheme. Everything else keeps going up around him. Accuracy is getting better. Throw on the run, and he's down to quick development again. Can you cut that out, game? Stop knocking him down. You know what? Fuck it, we're going superstar. Knock it down to star next time, idiots. All right, what's their overall now? 90. Let's get it, Kyler. Red zone alert. Let's score. We got CD Lamb. I might want to streak that, see if he gets open. Throw it over him. There's number one, Kyler Murray. Actually kind of looks like him with the size and all that. And, and the towel. How fast is he? Oh, 91 speed's pretty fast. Kyler Murray, power. Not really his game. I'll take a 12-yard rush, though. That's CD. And he's open. Touchdown, Kyler Murray. With his first career postseason passing touchdown. Or touchdown of any kind. And it, is it not fitting that it goes to CD Lamb? Arguably his favorite target this past year. And we're back on offense. I mean, we got some burners out here on this left side. Let's see if Hollywood Brown can get open in the slot. Maybe, but I like that throw a little bit better. It's Christian McCaffrey, basically a receiver out of the backfield. We're not, what do you mean? We're not running the ball, unless it's with Kyler Murray. I want to throw that. Murray, wow! What an interception by Stefan Gilmore. That's just a great play by the cornerback there. I like that throw too. That was right where it needed to be. Murray puts it on the money for C.D. Lamb. I love these deep passes. It's looking like this past season of college football. Kyler's killing it. Of course, the interception hurts, but not really. It's play action. It's a boot. And we do have a touchdown. I want to run, though, because it's more fun. I, I know I easily added the pass to Christian McCaffrey. It's not about, like... Scoring or not, it's not that difficult on the CPU. It's about having a good time with Kyler. That's what I want to do. Rolling out to his non-throwing side. Oh, and he fumbles. And he somehow the ball's recovered by Trey Flowers through his helmet. I don't I don't understand that one. Our defense is holding tough. And Eli Apple's on the field. Why are we not exposing him? We're going to throw that ball. Oh my goodness, it's Colton Miller who catches it? Is he the backup tight end? That's unbelievable. That pass was to a tackle. Colton Miller. <laughs> that is hilarious. Throw into the end zone. That, I believe, is, uh, 
Is that Hollywood or AJ Brown? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what their numbers would be here. Either way, Brown with the touchdown. I mean, I would assume that Hollywood Brown wears 15 because he wore 5 at Oklahoma. Go upfield. Let's throw it. Touchdown. Number 15 again. I got to assume that that's Hollywood Brown, but I, I don't know. Yeah, it is. It is because that was our drive goal. All right, we're killing it with Kyler. Rolling out with Kyler. How do you have such good speed at defensive end? Relax. It's Kyle Van Noy. What did he run at the combine? Like 4-7 maybe? He ran 4-7-1. Like, give me a break. You're not catching me there. We're going to go for it on fourth down. Rub a little salt in the wound if we get it. What is that pressure? Tim Williams. Un unreal. Third and five. Here we go. Here's a gap to step up. It's Kyler Murray off to the races. Trying to juke. We're not We're not sliding. Are you kidding me? Third and one. A lot of routes going to the right side of the field, so you can bet we're rolling out. I already can tell that's pressure. I know that's wide open. Murray on the run. It's not even close. Third and 11 after the penalty. And Jesus, what is up with the pursuit? We're just slinging it to Christian McCaffrey. What a ridiculous play. That's going to be the game, though. 24-10 is the final. Not that it really matters. Kyler Murray, kind of sick. Really fun to play with. He is another upgrade point. That'll take him to an 88 overall. More than likely, and it does. Still probably doesn't fit the scheme. Not that it really matters too much at this point. He continues to get better. Hopefully, he keeps his development this time. I'm sure they'll knock it down to star, and then to quick, and then to normal. Just... Just cuz to even beat the Texans. Nope. That's a shame. Well, that's gonna do it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This was a fun video to do. What if Kyler Murray chose the NFL? It's super unlikely, but I suppose it could happen. Let me know what you think. And uh that'll do it for me, guys. Let me know if you want that Kyler Murray like career mode with the NFL and the MLB and even NCAA 14. I don't know. Could be cool, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus, and check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4, as well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video.